Okay, well, congrats. You've already um, kind of participated in the theme for the week because it's all about choosing yourself. And so even just showing up um, today or any time that you're uh, taking that time out of your day to practice yoga, um, you're really choosing yourself for that hour. No matter how that practice goes, just simply saying, I need this time for me. Um, that's an act of choosing yourself. So you're already on the path. So we'll just keep going with that. Um, so if you just want to start, uh, let's start in, let's start on our backs today. It's morning. Let's take it nice and chill. Okay. Try to get Copper's head out of the picture here. <laughs> so you can start your playlist if you'd like. Uh, just finding a comfortable space on your mat. So if, if laying down on your back is no good for you, you're welcome to um, come to a seated place or on your belly. Trying to take out some of this glare for you guys. I call this anyway. There we go. All right. Perfect. Okay, so finding yourself onto your mat. Just take a couple of moments to allow your body to settle in. This first part of your practice is really just about grounding yourself in space. And instead of feeling pulled in a million different directions of the things you have to do later, the things you have to remember, um, maybe some things that happened last week, that this is really just your opportunity to pause and connect inwards and let go of all of the things tugging at the corners of your being. Maybe for the first time this morning, you notice the sound of your breath. Notice the quality of your breath. Whether your breath is feeling shallow or deep, loud or quiet, full or soft. Allow your eyelids to rest a little bit heavier and imagine that you're sinking in towards yourself. That at our core, we have this knowing, this inner guide. And can you just start a quiet conversation with that knowing? of what do you need from today? And sometimes when we come to our mat, we're not always practicing for ourselves. Sometimes we practice for our ego, for others in the room, for the teacher. Sometimes we don't know why we practice. And so in choosing yourself, is really just getting to know what are your own needs. So what does this practice need from you today to choose you? Gently, you can begin to awaken your body and start to bring some movement into the smallest parts of your limbs. And as this gets more comfortable, you might start to take bigger movements. There's no right or wrong way to bring yourself into your practice. Remember, this is all about 
choosing what you need, what serves you. And what's really beautiful of a home practice is we don't worry about what we look like or that we're not doing what our neighbor is. We're really just focused on our own experience. Eventually, if you are seated, you'll make your way down onto your back. And let's start out with a big good morning stretch. Extend your legs, reach your arms overhead, hands reach back behind you. And as you inhale, you might even yawn if that's there. Reach from fingertips to toe, shoulders might climb up towards your ears. And then as you exhale, soften into your mat, relax your joints, still in this elongated shape, but a little bit softer. All right, inhale breath. Take a bit of effort to reach and stretch out. And exhale, let that go. One more breath, just like that. Inhale to reach and to lengthen. And exhale, soften. Awaken your side body. Keep your hips as an anchor in the center of your mat and start to walk your fingertips over to the top right corner. Hips will stay exactly as they are and then walk your heels to the bottom right corner for banana asana. So you're creating this crescent moon shape with your body. Now, if you feel this into your low back and it's uncomfortable, one variation that I really like is to take your right leg, the one that's towards the outside of your mat, and just bend your knee and plant that foot on your mat to realign your hips so they're equally rooted. Hands can be clasped, you can reach for one wrist, or you can always just cactus your arms and take a soft bend. Visualize your breath traveling down your left side body as you inhale, expanding from your shoulder all the way towards your left heel. And as you exhale, rinsing back up. Use your breath to deepen yourself into this pose rather than pushing the physical body. As you deepen your breath, you'll create more space to expand into on the inhale and more space to let go as you exhale. Gently walk your heels back through center and take your upper body into the middle of your mat. Bend into your knees, plant your feet, Pick your hips up and over to the right side of your mat and lower your knees over to the left. Arms can come out wide or cactus or T-shape. Coming into a gentle twist. Knees just land wherever is comfortable. You don't have to force them to be parallel. But you can add in any variation that you'd like this morning. Really within your yoga practice, there are always these options to shift something or take a different expression of the pose. Even if we were all in the same pose, we get to choose our depth, choose what we need from this particular shape of our body. Gently, you can begin to lift your knees back up through center. Pick your hips up and back into the middle of your mat and then bring your knees in towards your chest. Hands wrap around the tops of your shins or backs of your hamstrings. You can just gently rock side to side, massaging out your lower back, top of your pelvic girdle. And then gently release the soles of your feet down. We'll come back to banana asana. Pick up your hips and send them over to the left, twisting to the other side. Knees drop over to the right. Both shoulders stay rooted to keep you 
grounded in your physical body, as well as to allow this twist to travel through the thoracic spine rather than the lower back. Gaze might fall the opposite direction than the first time that you landed in this twist. And then you just become mindfully aware of the movement of your breath. When we choose ourselves, when we say yes to ourselves, ultimately it becomes a no to other things. A no to the outside world for a moment. A no to the responsibilities. The, all of the things that we do for others in this moment and just say yes to you. Yes to your needs, to your body, to your heart. On your next inhale breath, gently guide your knees back up through center. Shift your hips into the middle of your mat. Extend your legs out long, reach your arms overhead. Take a giant stretch through the entire body. And then banana asana over to the left. Gather your heels to the bottom left corner. Walk your hands, maybe even shoulders to the top left corner and create space through your right side body. Allow the back of your head and neck to soften. Choose a depth where you get an opening through the body, but it's not so much that it takes you out of this moment. Optional, as always, to plant your left foot if you're starting to feel this in the low back and roll your right hip closer towards the ground. Take one more giant breath on this side. And then gently make your way back through to center. Pick up your feet, take your knees into your chest, give yourself one more giant hug. Now you're welcome to roll over to either side, or you can start to gently rock and roll up and down the length of your spine and meet into a comfortable seated position. Okay, so that can be cross-legged, you can take your feet out in front of you long, you can always sit onto your shins, so it doesn't really matter how you come to your cross-legged seat. On an inhale breath, reach your fingertips up, grow tall. And then exhale, just gather your hands through heart center, gaze can follow. Inhale breath, reach out and up, gaze might lift up. And then exhale, gather your hands through heart center. And take one more breath just like that, inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands through heart center. Inhale, breath. Reach your fingertips up to the sky. As you exhale, twist over to your right. Left hand gathers onto your right knee or thigh. And then right fingertips reach back behind you. Keep your shoulders stacked over top of your hips. Long spine. Optional to bring the gaze back behind you. All right, engaging the core a little bit more. Instead of leaning onto these right fingertips, Reach your right hand back and you should get a juicy stretch through the inner line of your extended arm. Use a full inhale and exhale breath for this next movement. So as you inhale, reach your fingertips up towards the sky, circling your arm. And then as you exhale, take your right hand onto your left knee, so your elbows cross. And then inhale breath, start to walk your left fingertips back, twisting to the other side. So now looking maybe over your left shoulder, draw your belly button in towards your spine. Core still engaged. Add in a little bit extra, reaching your left fingertips back behind you, floating them off of the ground. 
And then as you inhale, start to guide your left hand up to the sky. Exhale, left hand lands on your right knee. Inhale, breath. Reach your right hand back behind you and up. Exhale, take your right hand to your left knee. So we're just flowing through this movement. Inhale, reach your left hand back and then up. And exhale, left hand comes onto your right knee. Inhale, twist open and then reach up. And exhale, cross your arms. Inhale, twist open to the left and up. Exhale, left hand gathers onto your thigh. One more time to each side, reach back behind you, lift up. Exhale to land your hand. Inhale, reach back and reach up. And exhale, take your hand back. All right, gently unravel your arms. Reach your arms back like you're spreading your wings wide. Lift your gaze up, squeeze shoulder blades together to touch. And then as you exhale, curl and round in like you're giving yourself a hug. Reach for opposite shoulders, tuck your chin to your chest, and then round through your spine. So let's take two more just like that. Inhale, breath, open up, reach all the way to your fingertips. Exhale, curl and round in, give yourself a hug. Two more breaths, inhale to expand, open. Exhale, fold in towards yourself, like you're embracing your body. One more time, inhale, breath, extend, open. And exhale, curl and round back. Pause here with this rounded spine. Allow this to be a moment where you physically are holding yourself. And then maybe on a deeper level, you just start to embrace all of those pieces of you that you maybe you want to sleep under the rug or push away or forget about. Can you just hold yourself a little tighter and let this be a reminder that you have got yourself, that you are supporting yourself, all of yourself throughout this next hour. Unwind your arms, slide your fingertips forward, meet into tabletop. Tucking your toes under, spread your fingertips wide, meet into downward facing dog, float your knees away from your mat, pick up your hips, and then lengthen out the back of your body. Pick up one heel at a time, walking out your feet. I always like to bring down dog into the shoulders. So you're always welcome to drop one armpit at a time as you pedal out your feet. Maybe you allow your gaze to drop side to side and eventually settle into stillness in your down dog. And just start to notice the sensations that are showing up in your physical body. Can you lift out of your wrists? Send more weight back towards your hips. Soften through your heart and shoulders. Heels rest heavy towards the ground. Bring your gaze forward and tippy toe your way to the top of your mat. So take your time, there's no rush to land here. Once you've landed at the top of your mat, drape your body over top of your thighs, soft bend into your knees. Inhale, breath, halfway lift and lengthen. Hands can press into your shins or the earth, find a flat back. As you exhale, fold belly, then heart, then head. Inhale, breath, halfway lift and lengthen, shoulder blades slide together, hips pull back. Exhale, fold. One more time, inhale, breath to lengthen your spine. And exhale to fold. Bend deeply into your knees, rise up as you inhale, reach your fingertips all the way up. 
And then exhale, gather your hands through heart center. Interlace your fingers so that they come to the webbing. Feet hip width distance apart. And then start to send your hands, flipping your palms away from you, out in front as you sit back and slight curl and round in the spine. Inhale, breath, reach up, send tall. Your armpits lift up, and then exhale, take your hands to heart center. Take a full breath in. Exhale, press an imaginary wall out away from you. Inhale, stand tall, hands to the sky. Exhale, hands gather through heart center. Hold for your inhale. Exhale, sit back in your chair, send your hands forward. Inhale, breath, rise tall. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more time, hold your inhale. Exhale, press your hands away from you. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, breath, just sweep your arms all the way up. Exhale, swan dive forward, reach your arms out, bend over top of your thighs. Inhale to halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale to fold, plant your hands, step your toes back, high plank. Lower to your knees. Beautiful. Take an inhale breath, shift forward, shoulders over top of your fingertips. Exhale, lower yourself all the way down towards the earth. On an inhale breath, take the weight out of your hands, baby cobra. Press into the tops of your feet and start to lengthen and lift up. As you exhale, lower back down. Do two more just like that. Inhale, pull your elbows in the opposite direction of your head, and then exhale like you're sliding back together. One more time. Inhale, breath, baby cobra, and exhale, release down. Press into your hands, lift up and back to child's pose. Send your hips towards your heels. Keep your right hand where it is in child's pose and start to thread your left shoulder under your body so that your left shoulder and your left cheek come down to your mat. Walk your left shoulder away from your ear. Let your head hang heavy or rest heavy. You can always add a pillow underneath your left cheek if this feels too far to reach your head to the ground. Reach through your right fingertip. Allow your left shoulder to rest a little bit heavier. All right. Gently unwind your left arm. Plant your left palm onto your mat. Take the other side. Right hand slides underneath your chest, palm face up. Right shoulder and right cheek land to your mat. Feel the weight of your body bringing you into this depth. Rather than trying to push down, can you just simply breathe fully into your inhales and relax fully into your exhales? Unwind your right arm from your body, plant your fingertips forward. Inhale, breath, shift to tabletop. Walk your knees hip width distance. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, downward facing thumb. Beautiful. Walk your big toes together to touch. As you inhale, rise your right heel high to the sky. Bend into your right knee, stack into your hip. Exhale, soften into your mat like you're trying to press through your mat to reach the ground. On your next inhale breath, lift your left heel away from the earth, rise taller. Exhale, step your right foot between your hands, lower your back knee down. As you inhale, sweep your arms all the way up. Right hand lands onto your right hip. Inhale breath, reach left fingertips skyward. And then as you exhale, just start to pour over. Notice if your left shoulder is lifting up to your ear, slide it down your back. 
and continue to lengthen through your arm without bringing your shoulder up. Press into your front foot to shift some weight back so you're not dumping into that left hip. On an inhale breath, reach both hands up to the sky, reset through center. Exhale, release your hands down. Optional, you can keep your back knee rooted to the earth or tuck your back toes and lift your back knee. On an inhale breath, sweep your right fingertips up towards the ceiling. Squeeze your inner thigh so your hips stay square. As you exhale, sweep your right hand back behind you and down. Inhale, take right fingertips forward and up, circling through the shoulder. Exhale, reach back and down. Inhale, reach forward, reach up. One more circle, exhale, back and down. Inhale, reach forward and up, pause. Exhale, release your right hand to the inside of your front foot. Turn and pivot your back foot so that it faces the long edge of your mat. And like a windmill, inhale, take your left hand forward up and meet into warrior two. Check in with your alignment in warrior two. Front knee lands over top of the ankle and make sure that that front knee isn't falling in. Press more to the pinky side edge of your front foot. Okay, beautiful. Take a full breath in. As you exhale, straighten into your front leg, drop your hands down. Inhale, sweep your arms out and up. Gaze can follow. Exhale, bend into your front knee, warrior two. Hold for your inhale. Exhale, take your hands down, straighten out your front leg. Find some fluidity in the arms. Inhale, reach out and up. Exhale, warrior two. Pause for the inhale. Exhale, drop the hands, straighten the leg. Inhale, reach up. This time, exhale, triangle. Start to send your hips back, reach to your right fingertips, and then drop your right hand to the inside of your front leg. Left hand reaches up. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Focus more on the space you're creating in the upper body. Notice if you're pushing your front knee back into its socket, can you keep a soft bend into that knee? You don't even have to see the bend, but just enough that you can feel that leg is working rather than sitting in the joint. Beautiful. Inhale, breath, lift all the way back up. Exhale, bend into your front knee, warrior two. All right, a little bit of a different transition. Meet into your high runner's lunge. Left hand sweeps down to the ground. Turn and pivot onto your back toes and reach your hands skyward. Optional, you can always lower the back knee if you'd like. Otherwise, feel like there's a string attached to the back of your left kneecap. It's almost pulling onto that string to engage the muscles of the back of the leg. Take one more full breath in and then exhale, release your hands down. Step back, high plank. You can choose to lower from toes or from your knees. Lower your heart all the way towards the earth. Okay. Walk your fingertips out wide. This is my absolute favorite for the chest and shoulders. Tent up onto all 10 fingertips like you have little crepe cupcakes under your hands and you don't want to squish them. Okay. Make sure your hands are wider than your elbows so that you're not feeling jammed here. There's a lot of space for you to move. As you inhale, start to peel your body off of the ground. As you exhale, lower your right shoulder towards the ground, right ear lowers as well. Inhale, breath, roll your right shoulder up and back. Exhale, dip your left shoulder to the ground, left cheek lowers. Inhale, breath, come back up through center. Exhale, twist, looking over to the left. Inhale, breath, lift back up through center. Exhale, twist, looking to the right. Let's take one more to each side. Inhale, up through center. Exhale to twist. Inhale, up through center. And exhale to lower. Come all the way back through center. This time, lower all the way down. 
plant your hands underneath your shoulders. Meet back to your child's pose. Big toes to touch, knees wide. Bring your hands to a prayer and then float your hands up towards the ceiling and then overhead so that your thumb lands to the nape of your neck. Different variation of child's pose that you can always choose. Notice how this feels in your physical body. And if this doesn't work for you, just come back to a, a traditional child's pose, hands extended out. Otherwise, you'll take this variation to open up the backs of the upper arms, your triceps, a little bit down the side body into your lats. One of my favorite ways to explore this practice is just to look at the different ways that we can really land in these poses. Just become aware of the subtleties of how this shape has shifted just by merely picking your hands up and overhead. Breathe into the sides of your rib cage. Gently release your hands back down. Release them from prayer. Knee into downward facing dog. Feel yourself away from your mat. Tuck your toes, lift your hips up high. Big toes walk together to touch. As you inhale, left heel rises high. Bend your left knee, stack your hip as you exhale. Inhale, float your right heel away from your mat. Exhale, step your left foot between your hands and then lower your back knee down. Inhale, breath, reach your fingertips all the way up, and then exhale, just soften into your shoulders. Take your left hand onto your hip. Inhale, reach through the right fingertips, and exhale, just start to pour over. As you create this asymmetrical shape, you really have to use the lower body to keep you steady. So feel your inner thighs glue towards one another. Gaze can come wherever is comfortable. Notice the difference between the two sides of your body. On an inhale breath, reach your fingertips all the way back up, and then exhale, release your hands down. Optional to keep the back knee grounded, otherwise float your right knee off your mat. Inhale breath, twist open, left hand reaches skyward. Exhale, start to circle. Left hand reaches back and down. Inhale, reach forward and up. Exhale, bring your hand towards the ground. And then inhale, sweep up to the sky. One more circle. As you come all the way up towards the sky, pause. Exhale, left hand to the inside of your front foot. Setting up for warrior two, turn and pivot your back foot. So toes point to the long edge of the mat. And then inhale, windmill your arms up, guiding shoulders to stack over top of hips. Check in with that same alignment that you found on the first side. Make sure that there's no pulling in your knees or hips. Take a full breath in. Exhale, straighten out your front leg, drop your hands down. Inhale, reach out and up like you're gathering all of the air around you. And then exhale, bend into your front knee, warrior two. Gaze can follow your left fingertip. Exhale, drop your hands, straighten out your front leg. Inhale, reach up, expand through the heart. Exhale, hands lower, warrior two. One more time, hold your inhale. Exhale, release the hands down. Inhale, breath, reach all the way up. This time, triangle, start to kick your hips back. Slide your left hand forward, reach out in front of you. When you can't reach anymore, rotate the upper body so your left hand reaches down, right hand up. Engage the muscles of your legs instead of sitting into your joints. So you can think about lifting your kneecaps, pressing through both edges of the feet almost like your heels are pulling in opposite direction. Reach through the fingertips, like you're trying to reach something up at the ceiling. Beautiful. Inhale, breath, rise back up. Exhale, warrior two. 
soften through the shoulders. L or high runner's lunge. Sweep your right hand down, turn and pivot onto your back toes. Face the front of your mat. Optional, lower your back knee to come into a monkey lunge. Take a full breath in. Sink into your exhale. One more inhale. And then exhale, release your hands down to your mat. Step your front toes back, high plank. Working into some strength of the spine, take a full breath in. As you exhale, ripple back like a wave. Lift through your shoulders, upper back, mid back, low back, hips lift to the sky, downward facing dog. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale breath, rise your heels, roll through the low back, mid back, upper back, shoulders lend over wrists. Exhale, roll the other way, downward facing dog. Start to feel these movements one by one, slow it down. Belly button to spine, core engaged. Lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Let's take one more breath, just like that. And lift up and back. All right, looking forward, step your way towards the top of your mat, forward fold. Just take a moment here in your fold to release any tension of your spine. You can shake your head yes or no. You can always grab a sip of water, soft bend into your knees. You can sway your body side to side. If you do have any grip of your hands, you can just gently release that. Take an inhale breath, halfway lift and lengthen. And an exhale to hold. Bend into your knees, inhale breath, sweep your arms all the way up. And then exhale, gather your hands to your heart center. Inhale breath, reach your arms all the way up. As you exhale, sweep your right arm underneath your left or eagle arms. So you can either reach for opposite shoulders, backs of your hands can press together, you can hook your thumbs or take your palms together. You notice if your elbows are sinking down to your belly button, try to lift your elbows up to shoulder height. Hands and forearms pull away from your face. All right. Inhale, breath, feet wide. Lift your fingertips up, slight lift of the heart as you exhale, curl and round in like you're coming to a cat shape, bend your knees and take your elbows towards your belly button. Okay, inhale, breath, press into your feet, start to stand tall, reach your fingertips up. Exhale, curl and round in. Okay, create some space in the shoulders. Inhale, breath, lift up. Exhale, sink in. One more time, inhale, stand tall, draw your forearms away from your face. And exhale, curl and round in, elbows to spine. Inhale, breath, lift up. Exhale, unwind your arms and swan dive forward. You should feel a release into the shoulders. Inhale, breath to halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step your left toes back. Optional to lower the back knee if you want to modify. Inhale, breath, sweep your right fingertip all the way up. Reach your right fingertips forward, taking this long line through opposite sides of the body. So left leg long, right arm long. Take one full circle in this direction. Sweep your right hand down towards the ground, back behind you and up. On your next inhale, start to stack your shoulders over top of your hips. Come up light onto your left fingertips. Flow up. Optional back D can always be lower. Beautiful. Reach through your fingertips, opening up the inner line of your arms. Inhale, breath. Sweep your right hand down and up. Face the front. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Flip your front palm to face up. As you inhale, straighten into your front leg. Right hand reaches the sky, left hand reaches down your back leg. Exhale, warrior two. Okay, two more times just like that. 
Inhale, reach up and lengthen. Exhale to warrior two. Do one more time. Inhale, wrap, reach up and lengthen. And exhale, warrior two. All right. Turn and pivot onto your back toes. Coming back to your low runner's lunge. Back hand sweeps down and up. Right foot is going to face forward. Okay, eagle your arms one more time. Right arm sweeps underneath your left, so you're in your low runner's lunge with eagle. Find some buoyancy into your back knee, and then step your left leg to cross over top of your right. So you're gonna come into a full eagle. Optional, you can use your left toes as a kickstand. You can float your left foot off your mat, or you can wrap your left toes behind your standing leg. Okay, draw your forearms away from your face and choose the variation that feels okay for you. Choose the depth that you wanna sit into your hips. I know this isn't an easy pose, but even in this place of restriction, even in this place of a little bit of resistance, how can you choose yourself to breathe, to soften, to let go. On your next inhale breath, unwind your feet, unwind your arms, reach all the way up. Exhale, interlace your hands behind your back. Pull your shoulders up and down. As you inhale, lift through your heart. As you exhale, bend your knees and forward fold. Hands can float away from your lower back. You can always take your feet wider if you'd like. This should be really nice for the shoulders. If there's a different variation that you need to take to release the tension in your upper back, you're always welcome to play with different variations of the arms and your folds. Let your head hang heavy. And then gently release your hands towards your lower back and then all the way towards the ground. Take an inhale, breath halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, two fold. Bend into your knees, inhale, rest through your arms all the way up. And then exhale, take your hands through heart center. Release your palms face down, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Pull your shoulders once or twice. Close down your eyes. Without any urgency to move or to come into this next sequence, you just feel your breath. Maybe come back to why you showed up or how you choose yourself in your practice. You don't always get to choose the circumstances or how the practice will look or what's gonna happen in this hour together. But in each breath, we can still choose ourselves. Okay. Inhale, breath, reach arms all the way up. Exhale, left elbow sweeps underneath, right, eagle your arms. Choose whatever variation works on this side, even if it wasn't the same for the other side. Three breaths with movement. Inhale, reach fingertips up, stand taller, Exhale, bend your knees like you're saying to your chair. Pull your elbows to your belly button. Inhale, breath, stand tall, reach up. Exhale, curl and round in. Chuck your chin to your chest. Inhale, reach up, stand tall. Last one, curl and round in. Draw your forearms towards the ground. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, unwind your arms and swan dive forward. Inhale, breath to halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step your right toes back. Inhale, breath, left hand glides up towards the ceiling. And then just start to reach your left hand forward. So it might feel a little bit strange, a different sensation, but it's a lengthening of the body. Pull your right heel back in the opposite direction that your left fingertips are reaching. And then take one full circle, left hand reaches down towards the ground, reaches all the way up, pause. Start to become light onto your left fingertips. Float your right hand away from your mat and come all the way up 
to standing in your high lunge. So shoulders over hips, optional, lower your back knee if you'd like. Just reach a little bit further through the fingertips, really activating your arms. Inhale, breath, sweep your left hand down and up, high lunge. Exhale, open up, warrior two. Okay, let's give the arms a little bit of a break. Flip your front palm to face up. As you inhale, straighten into your front leg. Just glide effortlessly, left hand to the sky. Exhale, like you're moving through water, warrior two. Soften your shoulders, even soft bend into your elbows. Inhale, reach up like you're dancing with the breath. Exhale, warrior two. Okay, one more time. Inhale, breath, reach up, straighten out that front leg. And exhale, warrior two. Turn and pivot onto your back toes. So you're coming back into your high lunge. Right hand sweeps down and up. All right, eagle the arms one last time. Left arm sweeps underneath your right. Wind your arms up, start to bend into your back knee. Spring forward, you can just step to a chair and then you can always pick your back or your right knee up over top of the left. Or you can stay on your left foot, transition seamlessly into a standing pose and then cross right knee over top. Either way, end up in some variation of eagle. Use your toe as a kickstand or float your foot off your mat. Lift your elbows up to shoulder height and allow yourself just to be in this pause. It's really easy to choose yourself when everything is going according to plan. But when things start falling apart, this is where our relationship with self also starts to crumble, where we feel not enough or we stop listening to our boundaries or our needs. So in these next few breaths, how can you choose yourself? To show up, to breathe, let go of what isn't serving you. On your next inhale, unwind your arms and legs, reach your arms all the way up, and then exhale, release your hands down beside your body. Tadasana non pose. Roll out your shoulders once, twice, palms face forward. Close down your eyes and take five full breaths. Feel sensation leaving your shoulders, sensation flooding down your arms all the way to your fingertips. A relaxation and a softening. You've done the hard work of your practice. Now can you just pause? On your next inhale breath, reach arms all the way up. As you exhale, forward fold, spill over top of your thighs. Inhale breath, halfway lift and lengthen. Exhale, plant your hands, step your toes back, high plank and just lower yourself to the ground, either from toes or from knees. Bring your right cheek to your mat. Arms either come out to a T-shape or arms can come to a cactus shape. But either way, your elbows will line up with your shoulders, approximately. Okay. Right cheek to your mat. Place your left hand beside your left shoulder or your rib cage. And then pressing into your left hand, start to roll yourself over towards your right hip. Now legs can stack. You can bend your left knee and plant your foot behind your right. You can just scissor the legs, crisscrossing them. You should feel a sensation into the front of your right side of your chest and right shoulder, maybe down the length of the arm. Make sure that the depth of which you're rolling onto your hip is giving you the spaciousness of the pose rather than any constriction. So you should be able to soften into this place, relax. If it feels like too much, just roll a little bit more towards your belly than over onto your right hip. Left hand can always stabilize you in this pose. Close down your eyes. 
and notice how it feels to take this practice now onto your belly. Notice how it feels to just slow down, to melt towards the earth. Gently, you can begin to roll yourself back onto your belly. A little bit different. Take your left cheek to the mat. Actually, instead of left cheek, bring your chin to the mat for a moment and press yourself up onto your forearms. So you're in a sphinx-like shape. Slide your left arm underneath your body. So you're gonna come into that same shape that we did in child's pose and then reach your right arm out. So instead of being in child's pose in the shape, you're gonna be on your belly. Option, slide your right knee out to the side for a sleeping frog. You can always take a pillow underneath your left cheek or you can let your left hand rest onto your, or your left cheek rest onto your right hand. Soften your left shoulder away from your ear. And allow your right hip to roll closer towards the ground. And just simply breathe. If at any point this arm variation feels like too much, you can always just meet into sleeping frog, untangling your left arm and cradling your cheek. Let your body rest heavier. If you have taken your sleeping frog variation, slide your right toes down to meet your left. Press into your right hand to untangle your left arm from underneath your body. Plant both hands under your shoulders and lift up to tabletop. Last little flushing or rinsing of the spine so you can take some cat cows. You can send your hips side to side release out any tension that might be lingering from landing onto your belly. And then when you're ready, we'll come all the way back down. Left cheek to your mat this time. Arms either extend out to a T-shape or a cactus shape. When you're ready, right hand will plant onto your mat beside your rib cage and use your right hand to roll yourself over towards your left hip. You can always adjust the legs to take any of this tension out of the lower back. So whether you want to straighten out the legs, bend your knees, just bend one and plant one foot. Take a couple of deeper breaths in this pose. Taking the invitation to slow down and settle. Sometimes we just need to be given the pause so that we can get back into connection with that internal knowing and choose ourselves. But when we're moving so fast and we're just looking for that next step, when we haven't checked in, sometimes it's not really for us. It's just for the sake of moving. And so perhaps we let go of glorifying busy and take that pause to reset so that when you do choose to move, it's in choosing yourself. Start to roll yourself onto your belly. Bring your right cheek or your chin to your mat. 
and come up onto your forearms so that you can now slide your right shoulder towards the mat, right cheek to the mat. I sometimes like to support my head with my hand if I don't have a pillow handy, so right cheek can always land on your left hand. And optional to release tension in the lower back, take your left knee out to the side in a sleeping frog. Feel the support of the surface beneath you and trust that you can sink into this support that you can sink your weight into the earth, into the ground, into your mat. Feel your belly rise and fall with your breath, pressing down in towards the support of this earth. Let any heaviness that you've been holding just release down as well. And take three more breaths. Slide your left toes down to meet your right. And then gently unravel your arm out from underneath you. With as little movement as possible, just pencil roll yourself onto your back. And once you meet on your back, bring your knees into your chest to open up the lumbar spine. It might feel nice to rock side to side a couple of times. Just massage out your lower back or even a little bit of the muscles alongside the spine. We'll close off with a couple of twists. So whenever you're ready, gently release the soles of your feet down onto the earth. You pick your hips up and over to the left side of your mat. I invite you to take a figure four twist to open up your hips and create a little release there. But you're also welcome to come into the same twist we did earlier and just allowing knees to drop over to the right. Otherwise, bring your left knee into your chest and cross your left ankle over your thigh. And then you can slowly lower down so that your left foot will land onto the earth in that figure four shape. This should give you a little bit more of a release through the right side. Gaze can fall in the opposite direction than your knees. Optional to bind right hand to your left ankle. And then on your next inhale, just gently lift back up through center, untangle your legs, plant your feet wide, and drop your knees over to the left and over to the right. Wash out your hips. There's no rush to find the other side. Just make sure when you do land there, your hips pick up and over to the right to start. If you're taking figure four, right ankle crosses over your left thigh, and then knees will drop over opposite side than your hip. Take a couple of deep nourishing breaths. Allow your body to sink into relaxation, preparing for Shavasana.
And then on your next inhale, slowly lift back up through center. Take any final movements that your body is craving. Whether that's washing knees side to side or taking these into your chest or a final pose. And then when you're ready, you'll land yourself laying down on your back in your final Shavasana. Let your eyes fall to the backs of their sockets. Choose this moment for yourself to unwind anything that you no longer need to hold. Take a deep, full breath in through your nose. Exhale out through your mouth. And before you start your day, how can you show up for what you need? If you could truly 100% choose yourself in this moment, what would you give as a gift to you? I'll leave you in Shavasana for just a couple of moments to sit with that, to just simply be with your thoughts, your breath, your heart. And I'll bring you out of this in just a moment. At the end of the day, you are ultimately the curator of your life. And so when you wake up each morning, take your life back. Take your life back from anything that feeds negativity within it. Take your life back from the things that do not grow you or move you. Make a pact with yourself to simply take control of who you will have the ability to be and what you will have the ability to do when you start to harness for yourself all of the energy you used to put into nourishing a life that never felt like it was truly yours. Take your life back and grow it into something that inspires you to rise with conviction and passion. Take your life back and grow it into something that you are proud of. You're welcome to close off here on your back, or you can use the next minute or so to start to wake up your body, choosing any movements that just feel good to you, that feel nourishing. If you are choosing to move, you'll eventually land yourself into a comfortable seat. You can gather your hands through to heart center. Trust that you are worthy enough to be chosen. And then be brave enough to make that choice. So much love, so much gratitude from the bottom of my heart. Namaste.
Have a beautiful start to your day and your week. I'll stick around if you have any questions. And there is some stuff posted for this week's intention. If you want to check it out, it's all on the page. Okay. Bye, you guys.